in our research that we've done, and we've carried on studying RPA for about five years now, uh, there is a performance gap between Blue Prism clients and their achievements and what we call the general market. And when we dig into this and we look at our case studies and our quantified, uh, quanti quantified research, what we find out is that there are some very identifiable management practices uh, that are strategic in nature that Blue Prism clients can access as embodied in the robotic operating model that Blue Prism has developed. The ROM is based, of course, on the experience of Blue, many Blue Prism clients, and so it's a way of leapfrogging uh, the experience curve for new adopters, um, sharing and educating themselves from the benefits of the early adopters. We accredit Blue Prism as the inventor of the category back around 2012, 2013, uh, and uh, the, the crazy thing is now everybody's jumping on the bandwagon. And I think at last count, Leslie and Mary and I identified 53 companies that claim to be offering some kind of RPA, and clearly they're not offering what we know as RPA. Uh, we, we are engaged at the moment in the IEEE, establishing a taxonomy of functionality uh, to define precisely what RPA is. Uh, and that, at this point, has about 150 different elements to it, uh, all of which have uh, a test and a definition. So we hope in the future that we'll be able to shrink the number of companies to a manageable few uh, that are claiming legitimately to be offering RPA. I think it's really understanding the environment that you're going to install the technology in and what kind of problem you're trying to solve. There are now many different varieties, uh, uh, flavors of RPA, and uh, each one of those takes you on a different journey. And if you start local and then try to scale with the wrong platform or the wrong tool, you're going to run into problems. So take the time up front, exercise the care and due diligence, understand your processes, and understand the time frames and the impact this is going to have on the business before you make your selection of technology.